Well, folks, you've just seen the bayou country. And right now, we're on a riverboat heading up the Mississippi River. You know, it kind of started me wondering, what was life like back in the old days when these big boats sailed up and down the Mississippi River and those beautiful southern bells and those gallant gentlemen who staked their fortunes on a turn of the car? Boy, I wish I were living back in those days. Nothing but plain chopped liver. <laughs> well, howdy, Magnolia, honey. Oh, hello, Jeff. Oh, I wish I could sing and be as happy as you are. Well, Magnolia, honey, you're the fairest flower in the suit. Why are them sad words coming out of your mouth? <laughs> oh, Jeremiah, I'm in love with your friend, Gaylord Winchell. Yeah. But he's a river gambler. Mm. Oh, Playing cards. True, true, true. Yeah, but he don't bet on the horses. Why's that? Yeah, they won't let him shuffle the horses. <laughs> yeah, they won't let him shuffle the... In 1860, that was a new joke. I know Gaylord loves me, too. Why, he even gave me this engagement ring. He did? There's an inscription on it, too. See? In case of fire, break glass, oh, for heaven. <laughs> He's such a romantic one. Oh, on the Mississippi River, boo. I think I hear him coming. Oh, Jerry, talk to him. Try to make him change his way. Oh, I'll try, Magnolia. Oh, I love that man. I love him. I, lo I, I just love him. <laughs> An Academy Award, she won't win. Oh, on the river, on the Mississippi River, boo. Uh, well, well. <laughs> oh, Jerry, how's my buddy, buddy? <laughs> how's my chum? How's my pal? How's my buddy? <laughs> hey, what are you smoking there? Old seat covers? Oh. <laughs> Don't you ever inhale? Oh, uh, uh, look, Jerry, uh, have you seen any likely looking prospects aboard this ship? Well, I ain't had a good poker game for nigh on uh, two or three days, and I'm just itching for a little action. Oh, yeah? Uh, well, listen here, Itchy. Uh, I mean, Witchy. Uh, why don't you give up gambling and get a job? A job? What's your language, sonny? What made this youth waste his life this way? <laughs> Was it his environment? Was it his upbringing? No. He's a natural-born bum. Now, here's a pretty view. Hey, the, tree, I... the trees. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> here's a couple of sharp-looking prospects. Uh, yeah, uh, these guys are from the, uh, uh, from the north. How do you know? Well, this afternoon for lunch, they had Yankee bean soup. Oh. <laughs> what about the fat boy? Oh, he's a manufacturer of chewing gum. Rich? He's got a wad. <laughs> That's all I wanted to hear. Well, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, would you gentlemen care for a little friendly game of poker? Poker? What's poker? <laughs> Well, if you step into my stateroom, I'd be mighty proud to teach you the game of poker. Right oh, this way. Right this way. Right in here. Yeah. Yes, hey, Lynch. What? Did you hear what they said? What's poker? Yeah. <laughs> there are a couple of rubes. A couple of squares. A couple of hillbillies. A couple of coffee. What, sugar? Cancel the cream. Right. Oh, come on. Let's go, Jerry. <laughs> Well, I'm going to raise you, sir. And I raise you. Uh -huh. I'll call. I'll call. <laughs> well, what have you got, gentlemen? A pair of threes. Threes? <laughs> no. You win, sir. I do? 65 oh. cents. Well, thanks. Hey, Lynch, are you out of your mind? You had a couple of kings. You've got to let these fellas win a couple of hands to get them interested. Oh, I see. <laughs> There are a couple of rubes, a couple of hips, a couple of squares, a couple of hamburgers with relish, holding mustard. Right. <laughs> well, now that you gents understand the rules of this game, let's say uh, we make it interesting. No more nickel bets. From now on, dollar bets. Well, I'm out for some fun. Let's make it five dollar bets. Hundred dollar bets. Check. A hundred dollar bets? <laughs> hey, Lynch, I think I smell a rat. Or is that your cigar? No, no, no. Don't worry. 
I know what I'm doing. All right, gentlemen. Hundred dollar bet. Ah, ah, good. Oh, gee, good. Good. <laughs> it's getting a little warm in here. Oh, heavens, I think I'll open my coat. I can't stand it. It's so warm in here. Chilly. Huh? Oh, oh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean it's, it's chilly in here. <laughs> it's chilly. Well, if I may, I'll bet five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars, huh? <laughs> Five hundred dollars. And five and a key to the ten and just a moment. Sorry. <laughs> a two and a one and a two. Excuse me. <laughs> Leave it to me. Hey, there's an iceberg on the Mississippi. An, an iceberg? iceberg? Where? A tree. A tree and a two. Oh, now, no, no, sir. Peaky. Uh, now, you turn your head the other way. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, more. Uh, more? More. More? How's this? Two and a seven. Hey, no, no, stop that. Jerry? We're playing a gentleman's game. Why, I think there is an iceberg on the Mississippi. An iceberg? Where? And, uh, yeah. Hey, listen, you. You guys can't do this. Uh, Who do you think? Oh, this is definitely not just for children, this game. Well, there we are. I bet 500. 500, eh? Well, uh, I'm going to raise you about, uh... Don't do it. <laughs> 200 more. And I'll raise you 300. And I'll raise you 500 more. <laughs> Let's go back to Nichols. <laughs> 500, huh? Well, I, uh... Don't do it. This guy's got 10 Jack Queen King Ace. Oh, wait a minute. You? I heard that. Uh, Why, you two are in cahoots. Here we are. But that's when we get off. Cahoots, Alabama. Let's go. <laughs> Sit down. You're cheating. Now, look, sir, we are not cheating. Uh, yeah, we're cheating already. We're cheating. Had a couple of suckers, huh? Well, this will be the last time you'll ever cheat at poker. Don't worry, Winch. You can still cheat at scramble. Oh, quiet. I'm going to plug you full of holes. And I'm going to blow your head off. Now, wait. Remember, neatness counts. Let him have it, Louis. Now, please don't shoot him. I know he's not much, but he's my man, and there's nothing that I wouldn't do for him. And there's nothing that I wouldn't do for her. And that's the way it's always been. Nobody does nothing for nobody. Let him Oh, no, you don't! Oh, no. Are you all right, Gaylord? Yes, Magnolia, honey. You saved me, but I'm not worth it. Oh, yes, you are. No, I'm not. You are? I'm not. You are? I'm not. Jerry. Uh, personally, I'm on his side of the argument. <laughs> but you did save him, Magnolia. So why don't you two get married? Not until he reforms. Wait, Magnolia, wait. I'll reform. I'll go and get myself a job. Then will you marry me? Oh, yes. Well, then you promise to meet me in room 413 of the Natchez Hotel? I do. And you promise to meet me in room 413 of the Natchez Hotel? I do. I now pronounce you room in there. 